The press is totally responsible for this coronavirus panic. It's their hatred of Trump mixed all together with their irresponsible reporting. That's what's causing it. If they had just stayed calm, reported on the facts, say that there's only been 19 deaths in the entire population of the United States, that's 325 million. 19 people out of 325 million. If they'd have had their rhetoric set on low, this thing wouldn't be boiling over right now. It wouldn't be turning to a worldwide toilet paper caper. They've caused this catastrophe. Oh yeah, they wanted this to happen. They wanted the world economy to just tank so they could blame Trump. Sure, it's, it's worse than some other countries. Of course it is, we've seen that. But that's their problem. Lock America's doors and tell them, bye-bye, we'll see you when you stop coughing on us. The mucked up media is screaming, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Death, death, death. And they've scared people into missing weddings, family gatherings, uh, trips that might actually be the last time they'll ever see a loved one. They have scared people into not going out. So businesses and self-employed uh, people, they may be hurt beyond repair. Some of these guys may never recover economically, but they don't care, do they? Get Trump, get clicks on the headlines, yeah! Death, death, death. The media is sick. And if you hang around sick people, you're gonna get sick too. So America, quarantine yourself from the corona media. Lock yourself in and lock them out until they get well. And we know that that may not uh, ever happen. That's something that could just <laughs> never take place. But you'll be healthier mentally and physically without them coughing up germ lies on ya.